Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Spiritual Journey. So it is the week of April 3rd, the first full week in April. We're getting into it's another Monday. <laughs> and we're going to just go ahead and get a um, message for each sign. First off, I'm going to start with a collective message for all signs for everybody just to see just what the energy is, something you might be aware of or you might not be aware of something you might be questioning or asking or needing guidance on so we're going to go ahead and start i am using the um let's show these decks here we have the intuitive life coaching oracle as well as the soulful woman so we're going to use these two and then we are going to clarify and get some more answers with the modern witch tarot okay so first thing we have for the collective is Asking opens a pathway. When I ask questions of my inner being, I discover that beautiful and helpful answers always come to me. So, you know, we can't get the clarity and answers we need unless we ask, right? So there's something about trusting your inner self, your higher self, and really dig deep down and ask those questions, you know? What is it you want answers to? And really question that and get the answers from uh, within to within your higher self not your ego and also your spirit guides in the universe you know putting that question out there and asking to get clarity on it right and we have the universal mind so very interesting enough it says you are about to receive the solution to your problem or concern so there you go when we have an open mind and we really listen to those answers um with truth and clarity they will come in okay and sometimes they're in the least expected way you can get it could be a sign of synchronicity somewhere you wouldn't expect to get that answer so let's get a couple of tarot cards again this is for all this is the whole collective these are the answers so there's some kind of clarity and answers coming to you that you need to know but you have to be open-minded and willing to ask those questions okay yeah something about some kind of heartbreak here so something's really weighing on your heart um and sometimes when we are in that um, emotional state or or disillusioned by heartbreak and we're feeling that pain or, or discomfort of it um, sometimes we avoid the answers we need sometimes we deny things and sometimes we're not open being open to get the answers we need so there's something with that so there's some kind of clarity coming in with some kind of heartbreak for you some kind of answer is going to come to you and then we have the knight of pentacles this is a you know slow moving process here slow and steady um so you i feel like the answers are coming to you and it's going to be successful i love that some answers are coming to you they might not have been as fast as you wanted but you know slow and steady you're going to be getting uh the this revelation of what's going on and maybe why something did break your heart or or um the clarity of what happened um, maybe the clarity of how to get over that heartbreak, whatever it is, there's something coming in, but you have to be willing to dig for those answers within, not like go hound somebody else, you know? So that's the questions are the first message for you guys, for the whole collective. And now we're going to go ahead and get into each sign. So Aries, you have time to lighten up. You may be taking life too seriously. So Aries, are you taking life too seriously? It's time to lighten up a little bit, you know. Something might be weighing really heavily on you right now. And like I said, when we're in that, that pain of something heavy on us, sometimes we're buried within that and we don't see things clearly or we're not as lighthearted and, and miss those answers or or miss the enjoyment out of things or miss, miss the things that we should appreciate because we're so um, boggled down or weighed down by the things that are heavy on us, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have path awareness. If I sincerely ask, I'm always guided back to the right path for me and to my central purpose. So what I'm feeling for you, Aries, is you might be in this position where you don't want to be in. Um, things aren't going the way you want. You feel like you might have got off path or something's just not aligning with you. And, you know, just realize that you will be guided right back to the path. There's, there's some reason that you got deviated from that path maybe a lesson or something to learn or something to appreciate or whatever, but you will be getting back on that path. And that really resonates with me because I feel like, you know, I'm not on the path that I want to be on. You know, sometimes life circumstances take you on that way. But let's get a couple cards for you, Aries. So it's, you know, try to enjoy the ride, even if you might feel like you're off path, you know, you can still enjoy the moment. See this, Ace of Pentacles, this is a new beginning. 
in the material world so there could be something coming up you know for you soon like to start you on a new path so this is just a little sidetrack a little side road sometimes we get off track and you know what what i feel like the universe and spirit are saying is you know you you got off path for a reason there's something you need to learn or to realize here or gain some clarity on um maybe even to see what's important in your life or whatever there's some reason for it but you will get back on path okay so let's go ahead and see what else with this ace of pentacles six of swords okay so see there might be some path you were trying to head down um that maybe created some kind of chaos you got off track a little bit but it's going to lead you back to calmer waters okay and you're going to have a better appreciation for it because now you know that that's not what you want or you you know got off that pathway there's some kind of betrayal here so i feel like aries a lot of you got taken off your path because um of some kind of heartbreak it was leading you to some kind of betrayal some kind of heartbreak that maybe you've already experienced and maybe you got a little sidetracked and didn't really see things clearly so the universe kind of just deviated you around it without you being even aware of it so appreciate and lighten up and enjoy every moment while you're here okay because there's some reason for this um getting off path a little bit you know so not all side roads are bad things right so that is your message aries so now we're going to go ahead and get into taurus we have spiritual gifts. You're in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts. Well, that's a beautiful message. So there's something that you are tapping into more about your spirituality, your spiritual gifts. Um, you're fine-tuning them maybe to um, start having it as your you know, purpose, your, your um, a mission that you're on. You are fine-tuning those right now. And then we have Princess Charming. I take the horse by the reins and become my own Princess Charming, taking care of my own needs so yeah so right now you might be some of you might be on your own or really really more independent uh, mode where you're working on your gifts and um, kind of being your own prince charming princess charming right doing your own thing being your own hero so that's beautiful and um this this sometimes we're guided to do like have a separation or isolation so we can rely on ourselves and realize how important we are to ourselves and make ourselves a priority so i love that energy for you let's go ahead and get some tarot so if you've had a breakup or separation from somebody it's for a good reason yeah look at that now we have anxiety and worry you know so if you're like kind of really concerned because you are on your own or you know why are you separated or having all this anxiety it's time to be your own hero okay trust in that let's see what else and sometimes when we don't know things or or especially when we're going through like a transition or uh, elevation with our spiritual gifts like our spirituality it can make us a little it can be a little nerve-wracking right you do have the eight of pentacles to so see this is some kind of skill set you're working on you're working on your skills learning new things um so it's, it's like you right now you're kind of working on yourself to develop your uh, gifts here and you might be juggling like things i feel like this is juggling like the 3d 5d energy you know our ego and our higher self energy so i feel like that could be stressing you out a little too because it's you know uncomfortable sometimes when we're spiritually awakening okay so that is yours taurus let's go ahead and get into gemini gemini we have seeker of truth you can feel the hidden truth behind your circumstances so there's some kind of truth coming in you're trying to find out the truth and then we have the being with discomfort at times of discomfort, I courageously, courage, courageously seek my soul essence, which is clear, pure, pure, and luminous. So something right now for you, Gemini, might feel really uncomfortable. It might be that you don't see the truth or you're looking for some kind of answers here, and it's a little uncomfortable. You know, you're a very curious sign. Um, you know, Mer Mercury is your planet, so there could be something that you don't know, and it's making you a little uncomfortable. So let's see what the tarot cards are saying. So, yeah, so something might have happened that was shocking, surprising, that you didn't expect. And, of course, you know, you want the answers. Why did this happen or whatever? And it can make you be, be making you feel uncomfortable. <clears throat> so it's just like tapping into your intuition, your higher self, your spirit guides, things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get another one. King of Wands. So standing in your confidence, being in control in, in, in of your emotions, of your, 
mindset, all that. And this is standing strong, being the leader of your own life, being empowered, not letting anything distract you or persuade you differently. And we have balance, temperance. Okay, so being patient. You know, you're not going to get the, all the answers overnight. Just be patient. It, they will come to you, okay? And it might feel a little uncomfortable, but you'll get through it, all right? So let's go ahead and get into Cancer. Cancer, we have authentic self-expression. Be true to who you are, and your life will change in the most amazing ways. So staying true to yourself, Cancer, you know? Don't deviate who you are or what you believe in for anybody, okay? And then we have creative cocooning. Creative cocooning is a freedom I give myself. I create a safe nest for peace healing and calm so it might be time to you know just comfort yourself right now be it on your own so if you are trying to fit in with people that you just don't align to it might be time to take a step back and, and just have be in your own company you know take care of yourself do you for a while right so let's go ahead and see what our tarot cards are saying So we have the six of swords yeah so i feel like there's this energy of like you might be uh, uh in a group or in a situation or setting where you just are not aligning with these people and instead of trying to be who they are or who they want you to be or to fit in it's time to step back and just kind of do you for a while you know don't don't deviate for you know who you are be true to who you really are okay and what else Two of Cups. So this is connecting with others. So I feel like there's this real big energy here of wanting to connect too much. But if they're not your type people or who who you you don't belong with, you know they'll come. You'll you'll connect with them. But you have to be who you really are because you can't align to people when you're wearing a mask or trying to be who you're not. Right. So I do feel like this is spirit and energy saying that there is somebody who's coming in there that's going to align with you better, but you can't pretend like you're something you're not, okay? And then the Six of Cups, this could have something to do with some uh, past people in your life, nostalgia, um, how you were raised, things like that. So be careful, cautious that you're not um, pretending or trying to fit in somewhere where you don't fit in or align or trying to be somebody you're not, okay? Because you're, the right people will come in, all right? But you have to be your authentic self, okay? So Leo, let's see who, you, who yours is. We have Shooting Star. You are a shooting star. You're about to step into your fullest potential. Well, that's nice. There you go. Something good's coming in for you. All right, and then we have the power of self-talk. When my self-talk is kinder, I am empowered in my capacity to pursue my dreams, and I believe in myself. So right now, this is all about that confidence and how you talk to yourself. So it looks like if you've been really, you know, easier on yourself, not being so critical, it looks like this you're having something come in that's very, very high potential for you. So be careful that you don't shoot yourself down or criticize yourself. Watch that inner voice, okay? Because you have a chance here for something good coming in, all right? But you have to talk you know have good talk to yourself not criti criticize yourself we have the six of cups so i feel like you know that might be um an issue like maybe how you were raised like your old patterns of belief things from the past it's time to switch it up and talk good to yourself say some positive affirmations toot your own horn for a while all right you know don't let those little critical creepy words come in from your past like that you weren't good enough or you you know anything like that this is a new beginning for you so when we talk good to ourselves or say positive affirmations and things like that, then we bring in higher vibration and this good potential. You know, you are a shooting star. Talk good to yourself. And then we set intentions for what we're passionate about. Set intentions for our highest, highest good, our spirituality, all that stuff. So, you know, set intentions and talk good to yourself, Leo, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into Virgo. Virgo, we have boundaries. You are learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. Nice. Good for you. So if there's something that you don't like or people are trying to push push against you and you're not liking it, it's okay to say no. Set those boundaries. It's very important. Okay? We can't have people walking all over us. And then we have time of follow. Creative manifestation occurs more easily when I have nurtured myself and honored my time of follow. So, yeah, see, there's something here about, you know, you manifesting, but you're going to have to set some boundaries because somebody could be taking advantage of you, not respecting you, anything like that. So it's time to set those boundaries, all right? Because, you know, 
you deserve good things. And it could be people who are like taking advantage of that or disrespecting you. And it's creating that um, uh, energy of you not getting what you deserve or want, right? And then we have the four of pentacles. It might be, you know, this is like holding back a little. Um, it can be greed, you know, greedy, but what I feel for this is, you know, you don't have to tell everybody everything. Not everybody has your back. They might pretend they do, but they don't. Everybody doesn't know, how, need to know what you're, what you're up to, what you're trying to manifest, what's going on in your life, you know? So be cautious of what you tell people, all right, and what you share. And then we have, yeah, anxiety and worry. So you might be a little bit anxious about things. And that might be one, my, why you might want to tell everybody stuff, but it's not the best thing right now because it's just going to create some conflict here. Not everybody has your back. So be cautious of what you say to others. Set some healthy boundaries. And if people are asking you questions, it's okay to say that I'm, I'm not sharing that with you, especially like at the workplace, you know. Not everyone's your friend, all right? So let's go ahead and get into Libra. Automatic negative thoughts. You are learning to take charge of the thoughts you choose to to give life to so be careful of those negative and critical thoughts that you're telling yourself be cautious of that because you know we are what we think and what we put out there and then we have anger is my sacred ally i listen to the messages within my anger and use it as a positive force for good so something to do with anger here be careful um you know pinpoint what why you're acting anger a lot of times anger is out of hurt you know, and be careful of what you are uh, putting, put those negative, um, at that negative energy you're putting out there. Figure out what this anger is based on, all right? It could be something that you are hurt. Usually anger is something that we feel hurt, hurt by. So get to the bottom of that and be careful of what you are, uh, that negativity that you're putting out the star. There could be some healing needed. This also could involve Aquarius. But this also could be about your dreams. Maybe something hasn't come true yet that you want. Some wish hasn't been fulfilled. And it's making you angry because you're hurt within. So there could be some energy where you need to heal from that and maybe take a deeper deeper look because it looks like that might be keeping you from whatever your wish, wish is, right? So get to the bottom of that and do some healing. We have the Hierophant. This could be actually a Taurus. Yeah, so this is like our institutions, our belief systems like that. So take a look at that. What's what's your belief system telling you? And is it creating this anger or, or hurt? Because it's a burden now. So there's something underlying. Get to the root of what you're angry about and be careful, like I said, of what you are putting out there. Okay? What you're expressing. All right? So that's yours, Scorpio. Let's see. Restlessness. Find a way to calm the waters of your mind. So some restlessness going on right now, and it's time to try to get rid of that and get to this state of peace and, and calmness, okay? So there's something that you're restless about. And then we have soul's truth. Listen, I listen to my soul's simple truth and allow my life to unfold naturally. Okay, so there's something about whatever you you want to bring in like you want to manifest some belief system but you're restless about it because maybe things aren't going the way you want and this is saying listen to their soul's truth because if you go with the flow things come much easier than if you're trying to resist it or fight against it okay so get to the bottom of whatever this is that's making you restless okay and kind of go with the flow of what your intuition and your soul are guiding you to and then we have for you Queen of Cups, yeah, being more compassionate. And this is also, again, listening to that intuition and trusting it. Yeah, this is a cycle you're going through, and you have to just let that wheel keep turning, going with the flow, all right? And be patient. Things will come in. Give yourself some self-love. But there's, look at these two cards here. I feel like this is also being compassionate with others because people only know what they know, okay? So... Let the wheel turn, go with the flow, trust your intuition, trust your soul's path, and everything will be fine. And, you know, try to calm and get at that get, get that peaceful energy around you, okay? Because that anxiety is just kind of keep you, um, keeping the wheel stuck, basically, okay? So that's your Scorpio Sagittarius. We have intuition. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. Well, that's beautiful. Yes, trusting your intuition. Just kind of listening to your intuition now. And then we have loving from the inside. It's a blessing to give myself my the gift of my own presence. 
Yeah, so it feels like you are really in flow with yourself, your higher self, and trusting that intuition. And it's making you more peaceful. I love that energy. It's a good way to be instead of that restless energy. <laughs> so let's see what else. So we have Eight of Wands. Looks like you are taking action and moving forward by trusting your intuition. Sorry about that. I don't know what that was, if that was a cat. The chariot, this could be a cancer, but this is, you know, having willpower and motivation to take that action forward. It looks like you're just like being guided by your intuition and you're trusting it and taking action on it. Love that. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is another beautiful card because this is setting intentions and planting those seeds. So it looks like right now you are in flow with your intuition. You're really trusting it and you're taking action on that and, and believing in it. So I love that energy for you, Sagittarius. All right. <clears throat> Maybe this uh, airy season, this fire season is making you feel comfortable and you're just going with the flow. New spring energy, right? So we're going to go ahead and do Capricorn. So Capricorn, you have nourishment. You are being asked to take time out for self-care. Okay, so there might be some self-care needed right now. Nourishing your soul, nourishing your body. And then we have love-based reality. I am a soul nurtured when I surround myself with friends and family who support a love-based reality. Okay, so it's very important right now to have supportive people around you, people you care about um, that nourish you. That feeds your soul. So I love that energy. It's time to nourish yourself and have support and love around you. All right, let's see what's coming up with these cards. The hero, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's kind of just like slow moving, you know, methodical, planning things out. So I feel like there's some uh, plans you need to set in motion. So it's very important right now to take care of yourself, nourish yourself, as well as to have loving support around you, okay? So we can get that off the ground. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, it looks like skill set, working, could be work environment, whatever. If this is uh, not, uh, not a good environment for you in the workplace, it's not supportive, it's all conflict, it might be time to go into somewhere where it's very supportive and loving and kind and, you know, more relaxing to you. But this is also you working on some skills. So if it takes you a little time, you know, I feel like it's saying, you know, it might take a little time because you are a worry word and you like to plan things out. It might be take a little practice to, you know, um, work on that, you know, work on kind of going with the flow, not being as structured and control, trying to control everything. And, you know, really, you know, but don't beat yourself up. Have that support and love around yourself as well. Okay. And then we have... The lovers, this could be a Gemini, but this also could be about a relationship too. So if you are in a relationship, um, hopefully it's one that, you know, is very supportive, respectful to you, and, and makes you feel at peace. Okay, so that is yours, Capricorn. So like I said, if you are not being respected or, or supported, and you feel just uh, uncomfortable in a situation it might be time to step away from that okay and nourish yourself and you know don't beat yourself up either okay so let's go ahead and get into Aquarius Aquarius we have connection you are very connected to the heavenly realms so you might be feel, feeling very spiritually connected right now tapping into your higher self your guides whatever it is and then we have embracing change with every loss I understand that something new is a, a, about to be birthed beyond what I can imagine. So you could be going through a change right now, transitioning, and that could be why you are so connected with spirit, okay? You know, you're, you're elevating here, trans having transformation. So let's see what our tarot cards are. Ace of Wands, yeah, this new beginning. This uh, as Wands can be a spiritual card, so it looks like you might be uh, doing a spiritual transformation, elevating your spirituality, something like that, and you're feeling really connected to the universe and spirit. Starting this new journey. Eight of Pentacles, so it takes some skill and practice, so you could be working on some things with your spirituality, your higher self. And the Eight of Wands, yes, taking action on that as well. So it looks like you are moving towards some kind of um, transformation, you know, and you're embracing that and you're connecting um, you're, you're accepting the change and you're connecting and, and trusting spirit in the universe on the, and that journey. All right. So Pisces, we have increased. You have successfully manifest something near and dear to your heart. So there's something that you've manifested. Love that. If not yet, it will be coming in. And then we have heart healing. My courageous 
healing journey brings me personal awakening and deeper relationship with myself. So love that. So healing yourself and healing your heart and all that. And then we have that compassion and loving. It brings in more of our abundance, right? So it looks like there's some heart healing that has been done or is going on. And then something is going to manifest for you. Love possibly. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything. Once we have that heart healed, we are more open and loving and caring and all that and you know filling our own cup then more abundance comes in queen of swords seeing the truth for what it is cutting through um you know the mask of things and seeing things for what they are so it looks like a lot of you have done some heart healing maybe from a past broken up relationship being hurt and look at this is success coming in which is, would be that manifestation increase love that and then you know maybe aligning more yeah look at that wishes coming true this is an Aquarius card too so look and this is also about healing so it looks like uh Pisces if you have already you might have already done this or you are currently healing a broken heart healing this heart um and then that raises your um uh, your uh vibration and you know you see things for what they really are you have to see things for what they really are to be able to heal correctly and then comes in this success and abundance and increase in your abundance so i love that energy what a great way to end so that is you guys' message thanks so much for watching have a beautiful day take care bye